I have hooked up a little LED strip to the IO bit from KittenBot and coated the micro bit to run that. Now, if I'm just running a st one strip of LEDs, I don't need an extension board. I can just run it from um, the micro bit itself. The whole point behind extension boards is you're going to run more than what you can normally get off um, just a micro bit. I am powering it from the micro bit, so just the three volts that um, with the two, tri two triple A's that normally get. I've got it plugged into pin one. I could have plugged it into a uh, whole variety of pins except 19 and 20 because those are just for I2C um, devices. I probably could have plugged it into five volts, um, but only if I had a five volt battery plugged in, which I don't right now. So yeah, I could do it then. Um, LEDs have a power, a ground, and a signal line. The signal is the code, really, that you're telling it to do what and when. As you can see, I got mine. Uh, this one is a bunch of, I grouped the LEDs. Um, so there's 10, 10, and 10. I got it going kind of like a stoplight with green, yellow, and red. Uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's the simple hookup. You, again, you got yellow on the, on the board is signal. Red is power. Black is ground. And like I said, I, I could have plugged it into um, signal. I have it uh, assigned on pin once. I could have plugged the signal into one. I could have plugged power onto the three volts. And I could have uh, alligator clipped onto the ground. Sometimes just easier with the, with the pins. Uh, that's the other reason for the extension board is um, you got a really secure connection that can stand moving. If you just clip some alligator uh, cl clips onto the board, it can, they can move. Um, again, three volts going here. Uh, let's put five volts on it and see if it does anything different. I'm not, uh, maybe it'll be a little brighter. I don't know. Turn the power pack on. Turn this on. And you'd have to judge for yourself whether it is brighter or not. Um, it shouldn't be because this pin for power is only five is only uh, three volts. Let's see if I switch this over to the five volt stuff. Okay, make sure I got the right colors here. So reds go to power because these pins are five volt pins down here. All right, let's see if we're brighter. And I don't know. So maybe not. Maybe we don't get brighter, but maybe with the five volts, we can power more LEDs. That might be a consideration. Um, this is a neat little string from Adafruit uh, that came with alligator clips already on it. Uh, some of the other str strands you might buy, like on Amazon, they don't have alligator clips, so you're going to need to have different wires to uh, hook up into them. Uh, let me show you the code just in case. So here again, uh, when you do a NeoPixels, you have to go to extensions up here and extend up here. Yeah, up here in extensions and you got to get the NeoPixel. Come on, I clicked on you. Oh, there we go. Click on extensions. You got to grab the NeoPixel ex over here. NeoPixel extension. I have trouble looking at two places at once. And then um, NeoPixel has all these neat little things built in. It already, you know, picks up an idea of a uh, of a variable. Let's click on something. And so you got to tell it first that you have um, a strip and how long it is and what pin you want to put it on. It's assigned it a variable strip. I then broke that strip up into ranges of 10. Started at zero, 10 LEDs. Uh, next set is at 10 with 10 LEDs, whatever I set up to. And I named those all variables and then turned sections off and turned sections on and paused it intermittently. So work out the timings you want on your own. So there we go, playing with LEDs.